Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're going to talk about mutating functions in Swift in the most easiest possible way. So without any further ado, let's get started with our Xcode. So guys, as we already know that classes are reference type, whereas the structs and enums are of value types in Swift. So what do I mean by that is class object shares a single instance of the object and passes the same reference if passed to any function or new object. Whereas the value type is the one which creates a copy of it and passes only the value. Right. So for that we have an example right here. We have this class called rectangle which has two properties width and height and we have a function that is called area which returns as the area of this particular rectangle and doesn't modify anything inside this function. We just try to multiply the width and height and return that value. In the second function, we have, you know, this parameter called value and we try to modify width and height according to the value that we pass through this function called scale by. All right, now if I try to, you know, make an object of this class, let's create an object. Now I'll try to, you know, return the area of this class. If I try to run this, it will simply return two. So guys, as you can see, we have two right here, which is very obvious. Now, if I try to scale this rectangle by some value, so I'll try to scale it by three, suppose. Now, if I try to print the area, sorry for writing react again and again. Uh, so now I'll try to print the area again. So it would be 18 this time because we have multiplied both the values by three and now after that, we have this area function which multiplies both of those values which we have modified just before this area command. So now we have this result called 18. Now if I apply the same case to a structure which is a value type. So let me just replace class with a structure. All right, now this rectangle is a struct and we have again these two functions. First one is the area and as you can rightly see, we have some errors in our second function in which we are trying to modify the properties of our structure. So the error is saying that the left side of the mutating operator is not mutable, self is immutable. So consider this as self dot width and self dot height. So the error is simply saying that anything which, which is related to self, the, there we have the width and height which are inside self, which are inside our rectangle. I mean the self rightly points to our you know structure which is rectangle and it does not allow anything to get modified inside it that is what the error is saying to us now the mutating keywords comes into the picture and if i write mutating function and the same thing like before uh, for your doubt i can just remove this self if you think that it has changed anything no i just wrote it uh, to make you understand that what self is uh, basically mean now if you can see that we don't have any errors right here right but we do have an error uh, below in the code so this error says that cannot use mutating member on immutable value rect is a lat constant as you can rightly see here rect is a lat constant which is right we cannot modify a lat constant in the case of a value type be it a variable value inside the structure but if you have made an object as a lat constant it would not allow you to make the changes because remember this always values never change variables do okay i can repeat that values never change variables do so if i convert this to a variable now there would be no errors as you can rightly see the error will be yes it's gone now if i try to run this it will work perfectly fine as you can see right here we have 18 again which was there in the case of class as well we have 2 which was basically when we uh, never made any changes and after making the changes we have this 18 okay so guys this is how mutating function is working mutating function is simply doing one thing which is allowing the self to mutate which is by default immutable in the case of a value type. You can take a case of a structure, you can take this case of a enum, you would see that the self is by default immutable in value types. So guys, that's all about mutating function. 
If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more such videos in future. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Jai Hind.